And now to the latest on the sex trafficking investigation that led to raids on the homes of Sean Combs here in Los Angeles and in Florida. He has not been arrested or charged, though he is named in multiple assault and trafficking lawsuits. Eyewitness News reporter Sophie Flay joins us here live with more. Sophie. Giovanna, in a 79 page lawsuit filed by a music producer who claims to have worked with and lived with Sean Combs for a period of time, alleges there were underage girls, hidden cameras and sexual harassment at his home, all of which Combs denies. What were federal investigators in tactical gear looking for at Sean Diddy Combs' home in Los Angeles and Miami? Homeland Security says the raids were part of a months long federal investigation, including sex trafficking. If he's convicted, ultimately, uh, he'll be in prison for a very long time. Um, you know, one count of sex trafficking typically is 10 to 15 years in prison. Cassandra Ventura, also known as Cassie, filed a lawsuit in November alleging Combs raped her and forced her to engage in sex trafficking. The two parties settled the suit the day after she filed. The problem for Diddy is those allegations become public immediately um, and they remain public, they're public record. So now that they're public record, uh, and Cassie was brave enough to put her name to those allegations and not just file as a Jane Doe. Well, that certainly empowers other potential victims of Diddy's conduct. Multiple lawsuits have been filed against Combs, including one by music producer Rodney Jones. Jones alleges sex trafficking and sexual assault, also mentioning underage girls in the 79-page lawsuit. Claims made by Jones include hidden cameras in the rap mogul's home, saying, quote, Mr. Combs allegedly threatened to eat Mr. Jones's face in order to get what he wants. According to law enforcement, federal agents with Homeland Security seized computers and other electronic devices at Combs' home in Homeby Hills and Miami. The federal authorities will look into the evidence that they've collected, uh, and then they'll go in front of a grand jury and, and try to get an arrest warrant for, for Diddy um, if there's enough there. 25-year-old Brendan Paul, who was arrested on drug charges Monday, also mentioned in the lawsuit, claiming Paul carried drugs and guns for the three-time Grammy winner. He's since posted bail. Combs' attorney released a statement Tuesday in response to the raid, saying in part, There was a gross overuse of military-level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences. This is nothing more than a witch hunt. Mr. Combs is innocent and will fight to clear his name. And it's still unclear where Combs was at the time of those raids and where he is now. His attorney saying that he's spoken to and cooperated with authorities. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.